Booyah! What is up, people? Say hey, guys. Hi. <laughs> what right. is cracking? Finally making a freaking video, man. Things have been crazy here with the boys. We're gonna clean some snake cages today. Alex is back over here. Y'all been missing Alex. He got a job over at Jay's shop. He's been busy over there. Today's his day off, also. Jake. Jake? <laughs> just got, I got college and work and I'm taking my day off as well. <laughs> He's going to be the new camera guy. I've been trying to teach him some things. So hopefully this one will be nice. Take two. Take steady, two. <laughs> right, Jake? Right. Steady. Slow and steady. <laughs> steady. Cool. So today we got to clean the snake room. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Their cages aren't too bad. They mostly need waters. I'll show you guys the gaboon, see how he's doing. We gotta feed everything tomorrow, so I'm just gonna get everything ready today. Alex hasn't handled the venomous in a little bit. Uh, last time, you got bit by that indigo snake, remember? Mm -hmm. So today, we're gonna go over venomous training. Now, I get a lot of emails about it. People ask me all the time, like, hey, how do I get into doing venomous? How do I get my hours? How do I acquire these animals? Yes, it is a very hard thing to do okay and honestly the best way to do it is to have experience with snakes first off and then you have to meet somebody that has their venomous permit that already has venomous snakes become friends with them and then maybe <laughs> they will let you handle their stuff but like it's a lot of work think about it it's way easier for me to come in here and just clean my snake cages and do the waters and just come in here get in get out it's very easy for me to do it. I've been doing it for over 15 years, okay? For me to have to teach Alex or Jake how to do it, it's way more work for me to clean this room. You know what I mean? Not only do I have to clean the cages now, but I gotta make sure mm -hmm. none of these guys die or get bit <laughs> by something. Like, thank God Alex got bit by the Eastern Indigo and it wasn't my big cobra. You know what I mean? The outcome would have been completely different. Your mother would hate me. <laughs> so with that said, we're gonna get to cleaning some cages. I'm gonna give you some venomous tips while I do it. You're gonna do some small stuff. You're gonna take these guys out. We're we're just gonna rotate. Like you're gonna take a you're gonna take one of these babies out, only hook them, obviously be very careful. Um, I'm gonna supervise that. And while we while you're cleaning out those guys, I'm gonna take out the big guys and I'm just gonna clean those cages so we could just bang this out real quick, alright? Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan. You got this camera guy? So these are all the little guys. So, yeah, we're gonna take them out, we're gonna put them right in here, okay? So now, these babies, you're pretty much, you gotta be very careful taking the top off, obviously. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna keep pressure on the top, make sure that it stays closed, obviously, right? Animal, we can see, it's see-through, it's right over here. We're just gonna pull it up, Pretty much use this as a shield. There you go. Oh, these things are filthy. It's crazy how dirty these things get quick. I just, I just, I literally just cleaned these like a week ago. So then, just like this, boom. Scoop them up like that. Put them right in here safely. 
put the top on. Bada bing, bada boom. Wipe that thing down. I'm gonna take out the big guys. All right, so while Alex is doing that guy, I'm gonna come over here, take these guys out. Hey, how are you? Now, when you first start doing venomous, huge thing is opening these panes, okay? Now if I open this with my hand, boom, Cobra's right here. Comes flying out the cage at me, okay? Not safe at all. So the best thing to do, open it with a hook, okay? So grab it right here, slide it open like this. So that way if the animal does come flying out of the cage, you're already a good length away because you got your snake stick right here, okay? Another thing, do not open up the cage all the way. Because then look, if he comes flying out and this is, a, this is a crazy cobra and this is a bad situation, how am I gonna quickly close the glass? I'm not. It's just gonna fly out and then I got a crazy snake in the middle of the room, no good, okay? You always, you wanna keep the glass pane a little bit away from the cage so that way there's this lip here. So where the snake is coming out like that, I just boom, get this lip, Close the cage. Problem solved, right? Everybody stays safe. So, with that being said, let's get this guy's out the cage. Open it up a little bit, save a little bit of room in case things go south. What I like to do, now, take any anything inside the cage that they can get hung up on, I like to take out first, which is why I do pretty basic setups with my snakes. Cobras, they poop as soon as you clean the cage, literally. As soon as you clean a cobra's cage, they shit all over the place. It's filthy. I don't know why, that's just what they do. They like their scents, they like poop to be in there. It's just, it's a weird cobra thing. That's why they're very, I use newspaper, a hide box, water bowl, it's simple. That way, I don't have to, I don't have this extravagant cage set up. I have to pull all these branches out and vines out and rocks out and all this other unnecessary things. It's very easy, that's how you stay safe. I like to take the hide boxes out like this. Obviously, use a snake hook right here. Cobra's head is right here, it's closest to me. I want their head to be away. So what do I do? I push her head away. I go for this coil right here. You see how snakes sit in loops? I grab the loop that is furthest away, like that. Very carefully grab the snake out. Now the thing with snakes that people mess up with the most part is when they go and they handle a snake, they just grab the snake by the tail. That is not good. You do not want to just go grab any animal. He's going to feel you grab it and then what is the animal going to do? That textile response, he's going to feel you touch his tail, he's going to whip back around, he's going to try to grab you. You do not want that to happen. You barely, when you're holding these animals, you're barely touching them. You're just letting they're just letting their body weight barely. It's a very it's a finesse with these guys. You don't be. It's nothing that you should be doing fast. You take your time. You figure out the way these animals are acting that particular day because it's always going to be a little bit different. That light is flashing like crazy. Let's get this other one out. She's in the corner of the cage. Thing that I don't like to do, I like to only work on one side of the cage, okay? This is the safest way, so that way it can easily be closed. This snake is a little bit crazier than Kilo. Kilo, the leucistic, he's a sweetheart. This is his girlfriend. She is not a sweetheart. She is definitely a way crazier snake. But she's still, still not that bad. She's awesome. Just like that. So now, now that I got the snakes safely into the can, put the lid on like this, use it as a shield in case the snakes come flying out. They're not as big to fly out very easily. This snake down here though, my Egyptian banded, that snake will come flying out. Chlorhex, I know this isn't a Windex bottle, but a chlorhexidine solution, okay? Safe for animals. Ain't gonna hurt them. So, boom. Spray this thing down with some Chlorhex. Give it a little wipe down. Like I said before, as soon as cobra cages are clean, they just poop it in anyways. 
So you don't have to get it too clean. Just give it a nice little wipe down. Maybe leave a little bit of poo in there. <laughs> just so they get the scent. Weird creatures. Boom. Little spitters. These little guys are crazy. Hey, bro. It's getting big. Hey, hey, yeah, good size. Can't wait till I get big, big. Relax. Bam, boom, boom. Working up a sweat. <laughs> Just so you guys are aware, I know it's hard to tell, but it, I keep this room in my house. This room stays about 82 degrees the whole day. So that way these cages stay of temperature all day long, even at night also. Because right now, I mean obviously it's not that cold, but it's getting down into the 50s and the 60s right now here in Florida at night. So everything needs to stay warm. You gotta make sure your reptiles don't freeze. This snake is crazy. Yeah, you're that call, you're gonna take me out. I'm going to be an asshole. Grab that first loop, comes out. It's a quick snake, real fast. I think this is the other baby spitter. Oh yeah, this is the, uh, the banded one. Sweet. Little spitters. Here you go. All right, put them back. Here we go. Hey, Mr. Cobra. How are you? Are you being crazy? See, reverse. You see that? Put himself in reverse. It sucks when snakes do that. They're smart. Go back in your home. Oh. See this lip? Close it. Easy. You back in there, like that. These little guys, these puff adders are out of their minds, man. These things strike so fast, and they just jump. Look at that crazy thing. Woo! Look how pretty those things are, though. Crazy little snake. All right, now we got the Egyptian banded. Come here, man. Look how long this guy is. Easy seven foot cobra. It's awesome. It's getting hot in here. Big cobra. He like rarely heads up too. He's just like pretty chill for the most part. Whoa! As soon as I say he's pretty chill for the most part, of course he's gonna like launch after my hand or something. No open mouth strikes really. There you go. Back in your home. Crazy little guy. I'm just going to use the. Always striking. Whoa! Relax, dude. I'm trying to clean your poop. Puff adder number two. That was pretty free. Woo! You quit, boy! Woo! Woo! Snakes in shed. You see him peeling. Super peely. This guy, this is a little Eastern Diamondback. This is the one that, uh, I was gonna feed this snake to the indigo snake, but uh, I felt bad, he lives. All right, so Alex is gonna put this little, what is it? Oh yeah, the Eastern, yeah, this little Eastern Diamondback. Put that back, 
safely take off the top, locate the snake, snake hook them right out. These snakes are so small, there is no reason to tail an animal this big. There's no reason whatsoever. As long as these things can stay on a hook like that, see how he's staying on? He's not being super squiggly and trying to run away. Go right in his That's awesome. Sometimes rattlesnakes are not like that. Sometimes you go to hook a little rattlesnake and they're so squirmy and flighty, they just like flail around and freak out and they're really hard to hook. Sometimes you have to use two hooks. All right, so this is the gaboon that has that stomatitis. You can see the tissue is getting a little better. Don't get too close, Jake. You'll get you'll get got right there. You can see it's getting a little bit better. It's not so red and so pink, but it's still there. It's just healing very slowly. Hopefully something happens soon enough. I mean, he is eating, so that is good. Um, his body weight is okay. He's not too bony, but he's still not too meaty. It is what it is, it sucks. Hopefully, it's been two months now, easily trying to treat this snake. It's just, it's a long process. Female Gaboon, you can see how much better this snake is getting. She is just night and day. This guy's such a little jerk. Come here. Relax. Relax, relax, relax. Look how cute you are. He's like a little dragon. Look how big this little beaded lizard has gotten. Look. Good size. Relax, little guy. Now he's crazy when he's inside his He's inside his little thing, but once you have him out and you actually have him in your hand, he doesn't really try to bite you too much. But a bite from these guys sucks. Not fun. Go. All right, so these guys, pretty easy maintenance. Their cage just needs to get spot cleaned, and then I spray them down. That's pretty much it. These are the eyelash vipers. Down below is that squam um, that I had that waggler's viper in that uh, somehow died, Alex. But anyways. <laughs> Actually, somebody hit me up the other day. Uh, I think it was Paul Miller actually said he's, he just got a bunch of wagglers in, so I might get a new waggler soon. Stay tuned for that. Just gotta mist these guys down, get them nice and hydrated. They like to lick the water off the leaves. Okay, so now is false water cobra time. Alex's favorite snake that I have. My good buddy. It's homie. So. This is the best snake. People that ask me about getting into venomous and stuff, you should obviously know that in order to have a venomous snake, you should probably be great with non-venomous snakes. This is a rear fang snake. He can't kill Alex. He's gonna try to bite Alex. He's gonna come flying out the cage at Alex. But this is the kind of training that he needs. Anybody that is looking to do venomous, if you can even get your hours, the best way is to get a very aggressive colubrid, like a really mean black racer or Kribo or just a big rat snake Just that's mean, that's flighty. It's the best thing. All you gotta do is take it in and out of the cage. Don't get bit. Do that a million times. You'll probably be pretty good with venomous. It's just, the game is don't get bit, period. Okay? Period. So, Alex. This Alex has been doing this for a little bit now. You you're probably what like I don't know how many hours you think you got already. Close to twenty maybe. Yeah, close yeah. to twenty. Okay. Yeah, give or take. So you should <laughs> let's let's see how it goes. Let's do it. I'll be standing right here, making sure everything goes. Get that out. Alright, so Alex just took the water bowl out with his hand. Mess up number one. Don't ever do that. If that was a real, if that was a monocle cobra, took it out with his hand. If he gets bit, you're done. Don't ever take things out of the cages with your hands. Don't use your hand at all. Right? Right. <laughs> right. Next step, get the snake out of the cage. 
He's always, he always cooperates. That's what I like about this thing. the smoothest that's ever gone if you believe it. It is. <laughs> that was not bad compared to last time. Alright sweetheart, you ready to put them back? Let's do it. Well, let's do it. Oh my old buddy. Face, man. Oh, oh, oh. You're dead. Oh, you just died. Yep, you died twice. Alex just died. Two, one snake. Man, that was close, bro. He, he almost got, he almost got got by that thing. That's All right, these two. Do it again. Two hooks is the easy way out. True. This thing can't kill you. Good and having him launch at you and try to bite you is helping you. Whoa, oh, and he comes straight after you again. You see that? He just comes straight at you. Go to your home. Go to your home. Are you too good for your home? There you go. Believe it or not, like I said, better than last time, so. Wasn't, wasn't bad, wasn't great. <laughs> We're not dead, but. All right, so now, Alex is going to take out this Eastern Indigo. Eastern Indigo snake. I have another video, like when I first got him, he's awesome. Non-venomous snake, okay. Larger, he's fast, he has a little bit of a feeding response, so it's a great snake for beginners, for venomous, to work with. So, Alex, here you go. Um, yeah, you can go the big can. Now this snake, I don't even ever use a snake hook with this snake. Obviously, it's a non venomous snake. Yeah, but last time I did that, you got bit. So, snake hook today. Oh. Other side. Yep. He just ate, um, I fed him probably like four or five chicks the other day. That's all he's eating right now is chicks. That's cool. When I first got him, when I first got him, he was eating, he ate a couple rats. No problem. Now he won't even touch a rat. I have to give him chicks. Come here. There you go. There you go, there you go. Just like that. Ready? Nice. Get him out. Big indigo. Way bigger than I thought it was. So this is a red phase eastern indigo. Just check out the red on his face right there. Look how cool that thing is. Sick. This is the closest thing you're gonna get to a non-venomous cobra. Right here. It even looks like a cobra. Like, look at that head. That's cobra face all day long, dude. No hood, no venom, just straight solid steel and sex appeal, baby. <laughs> right there. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's it. I just gotta put this snake away. We're done. Hell yeah. Safe little snake room sesh. Got some training in. Nobody got bit, right? Yeah, you didn't get bit this time. Crazy. Super cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like this, comment, leave some questions, comments. Let's hear how you think Alex is doing.
How's Jake's uh, camera work? <laughs> yeah, how's Jake's camera work? Is Jake's camera work getting better? What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Also, make sure to check out fucking this video right here and this video right here. Also, I think That's I'll be able to one. do this one. right. Yeah, make sure you subscribe. You click this little thing right there. See y'all next time. Peace.